for every show. Um, and honestly, like, you know, when we're doing dangerous moves like we do, like, you can't help but pray because, you <laughs> yeah. know, because, like, it's kind of terrifying sometimes. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Ignite. I'm your host Matthew Taylor. And I'm Genesis Gresham. Today we have invited the captain and team pastor of our school's gym masters to talk to us in preparation for their upcoming home show. They will be sharing their personal experiences on the team and how they do their part in representing our university during their tours. Let's get into the episode. Okay, so gym masters is our main athletic program representing SAU off campus. They often showcase our university at local high schools and acro events across the country. Despite this, some students around our campus may have some predispositions about members of Gym Masters. They might believe that it is cliquish and standoffish from the rest of the university. How do you guys kind of approach those concerns? Um, we can see where that's coming from. Um, we understand that, but um, we try not to be, um, but I will say that most of my friends are gym masters. I have made most of my friends, um, but I would say it's because we do spend a lot of time together. We're putting our lives in each other's hands. It is two hours, four days a week, and then plus some, because some people come in to practice a little more. We have weekend trips, um, but I would say it's, we do realize that it does look like that, but we try not to, we don't want it to be. Um, but we do have some friends. I am introverted. Oh, sorry. I am introverted, so it is harder for me to make friends outside of, like if I don't spend that much time with someone. And so it was easier making friends on Gym Masters. But I do have extroverted friends on the team and they've introduced me to other people off the team. And so I've made many more friends off the team and they're great people and I love them. Do you yeah. Have yeah, definitely. I mean. We're not trying to um, be a clique or anything like that. We, we want to um, you know, be a part of the rest of the school. We want the rest of the school to be proud of us and interested in what we're doing because you know, whenever we're going off campus, we're representing the rest of you guys, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so and we're really proud that we're representing the school and we hope we do a good job. Um, and you know, we put a lot of work in to um, you know, have a good rep reputation for Southern and for the rest of the students. And you know, I'm very interested and other things that are happening on campus, whether it be like orchestra. I did like orchestra in high school, so like I'm definitely interested in that kind of stuff and um, you know other groups and um, yeah, it's just you know just kind of it's just kind of how it is when you spend so much time with um, people who have a lot in common with you. Mm -hmm. You just tend to hang out with them more. You tend to you know just since you have more in common, since you spend a lot of time, it's just kind of how it is sometimes. Um, but it's obviously you know it's not on purpose. <laughs> So are there opportunities for students to come support their friends on the team if they're interested in viewing their shows or practices? Yes, of course. Um, we have, our coach doesn't like people like on the mats during practice because it is a safety hazard and like things go wrong sometimes, but we do have like this little balcony that people can always come in and sit and watch and then after practice they can come in and say hi. Um, we do our main show that we have is home show, which is April six and April seven. Um, get your tickets sometime soon. Um, Great advertising. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little bit. It's actually free for Southern students. Yeah, yeah with your ID. Card, so, mm -hmm. You know, no excuse really. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's the main show. Um, some we go to like high schools nearby, so like you could always like ask one of us and say like, hey, what school are you going to? I don't know. Some schools let people in, others don't. Yeah. Um, but yeah, those are the main things. Yeah, so I'm curious about you guys' personal experiences about being on the team. What initially interested you in trying to be part of Gym Masters? So for me, um, I went to a high school and I like lived in the area where Gym Masters actually went there every year to put on a clinic and a show uh, up at Highland Academy. Mm. And, um, and so I saw Gym Masters every year from like first grade all the way up through high school. And um, I didn't do gymnastics um, until like sixth grade because I didn't think I'd be able to. Um, but it was actually a Gym Master show where I was like, oh, that's really cool. I kind of want to see if I could do this um, kind of thing. And I actually never expected to be on Gym Masters. I always thought like, 
I wasn't good enough for that. I would never make a team. Um, but um, yeah, so it was actually them coming and um, putting on a clinic and, you know, showing us their gymnastics moves, teaching us gymnastics moves, and also like, you know, putting on the church service and, and uh, having Vespers with us and stuff like that, that made me very interested in the team and also very interested in Southern um, because that was the only like kind of exposure I had to Southern at that time. And it ended up pay, playing a big role for me coming to Southern because I wanted to see, I didn't, I didn't think I'd make the team, but I wanted to at least try out, you know, and somehow I made the team. I don't know how I did to this day, um, but yeah, coach put me on the team for some reason. <laughs> now going on three years. Three years, yeah, yeah, exactly, so. Yeah, what about you? Um, for me, um, my dad's a gymnastics coach, so I just grew up like doing gymnastics all the time. I was on his gym team. Um, my dad was coached by the last coach, Coach Schwartz, mm -hmm. and so I just grew up knowing the coach, and I would, every time we came to visit down here, he would let us in the gym, and I would just run around as a kid. I would just run around as a kid, and it was like a lot of fun, and I just like, I really want to be on the team. I almost didn't come to Southern. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to go to Walla Walla, because I'm a math major. Abroad. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, I'm a math major, so I was thinking of engineering, and I was like, that's a really good school for engineering. But I decided I didn't want to do engineering, and so then I ended up being like, I don't know where I want to go. I need to figure this out. And so Gym Masters, like also with you, it was like the thing that I knew I wanted to do, and like I wanted to be on a gym team or some sort of sports team. And so I got to, I came to Southern because of Gym Masters, basically. So being on the team, it definitely takes a lot of time, uh, being at practice and going on trips. Um, and it can be difficult to balance, I imagine. Have you guys ever questioned uh, being on the team to balance with other portions of your life? I personally have never questioned it. Hmm. That's probably a bad thing because <laughs> I definitely um, need to work on my time management skills. Like I, I didn't quite hone those in high school, so figuring them out in college has been new and kind of difficult. Um, but I've never once been like, man, maybe I should quit Gym Masters so I can get better grades. Because to me, like, Gym Masters is just way too important to me. And um, it's kind of, like, if I, didn't, if I didn't have Gym Masters, like, you know, I don't, I don't, it'd just be school. And I, just, mm. I don't know if I'd like that, you know? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> you know, school, school's, school's good, school's fun, but, you know, you need some extracurricular stuff, yeah. whether it be gym masters or any other extracurricular activities. Ignite. Yeah, ignite, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. You need something else besides just school. Um, so for me, it's never really been an option to um, to quit. I just, the, which leaves me with the only option of getting better at time management, hmm. um, which is a good skill to have anyways. Yeah, how about you? Four years. <laughs> yes, four years. Um, I wouldn't say that I questioned it because of time management. That would not be why. I always felt like it made me have better time management because it gave me a little less time. Every time that we like stopped doing gym masters for the last few weeks of school, my grades start going down and I like start hmm. doing worse because I don't know what to do with the extra time. I don't know, it's weird. But well, I personally, sense, yeah. I like, I just, I get overwhelmed with how much time, and then I'm a big procrastinator. <laughs> so then I'm like, oh, I have so much more time now, I don't need to do it right now. But when I don't have that time, it forces me to get my homework done. So that was never a problem for me. Um, I would say um, I did struggle a little bit with the, the coach transition, but we, have, we did work through it. I had a long conversation with the new coach, and we've worked through it, and he's great. We've, We've done great. He's a great coach. That's awesome. But that would be the thing that did make me question mm -hmm. being on the team. Yeah, especially knowing him beforehand as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So both of you have been with Gym Masters a while. So do you think that uh, how has being part of the team affected you either spiritually or socially? Um, socially, it has given me friends because I, I do struggle with making new friends. Um, so it's been easier knowing that I have friends and then like I can go to someone even if I don't really know them. I know they'll want to talk, to, they'll be there for me. I don't know, it's like a weird family thing that I just know that they're always there for me even though I don't know them that well. Mm. Um, spiritually, it's been a big impact on my life. Um, there's so many people on the team who are like 
big spiritual people and they just, we have worship before practice every day and it's someone different every time. And they just shared their story. Like we just want to get to know each other basically. And it's really nice to see where other people come from and like why they believe in God. Cause like everyone has a different reason why they believe in God. And like, I feel like for me personally, testimonies like hit me really hard and they remind me like, yeah, this is why I believe in Jesus. Um, so that's been real big for me personally. So many people on the team really love Jesus and it's contagious. Um, you know, uh, my freshman year I was struggling with some stuff and being in that spiritual atmosphere um, really helped me focus on my relationship with God. Um, and then being a team pastor this year has really challenged me as well because uh, I'm not gonna lie, when coach uh, asked me to be team pastor, I was like, why me? I'm definitely like, you know, I get mad at practice sometimes. I might not be the best, you know, example of a of, of, uh, of team pastor and stuff like that. But it, it's definitely forced me to like lean on God and to rely on him and any weaknesses that I have. Um, and it's, it's, I mean, it's been really cool to see God work because like, um, I'd say like halfway through the first semester, um, we started having like guys Bible studies, like just the guys on the team coming over to um, one of the apartments that um, one of the guys lives in. And we've just been having Bible studies together like most Friday nights uh, after Vespers and stuff like that. And so many people want to improve their spiritual life and want to fall in love with Jesus and it's just contagious. Um, and so that's been what's most impactful to me. And the team really, really likes to focus on the spiritual side of things. Um, Coach Schwartz, he called um, the team like the blue church. He didn't really think of it as an athletic team. He thought of it as a church. He didn't think of himself as the coach. He thought of himself as the pastor kind of thing. And with Coach Johnson, he's, he always likes to emphasize that we're not a sport of competition because we don't compete. We just do shows, right? So he's like, we're not a sport of competition. We're a sport of ministry. Mm -hmm. So s the spiritual aspect is constantly pushed forwards. Uh, every practice, every show, you know, we pray for every show. Um, and honestly, like, you know, when we're doing dangerous moves like we do, like, you can't help but pray because, <laughs> yeah, because like, it's kind of terrifying sometimes and people can definitely get hurt. So, you know, it just really adds to the spiritual atmosphere. What do you think you'll look back on most fondly about being on the team? Um, honestly, it is the friendships. I've made like my close good friends that I think I'll have forever um, on the team. Um, so I would say it's the friendships. I would have to agree. You know, like the performances are cool, but like those feelings are temporary and it's always on to the next performance. So you can never like really relish a good performance for too long. But the friendships definitely last, hopefully for a lifetime. You know, obviously, yeah, we don't know yet. Yeah, we don't know yet. <laughs> but uh, you know, it seems like right now they will, um, and I hope they do. Um, but I think the biggest thing for me has been um, like I've grown more spiritually being on this team than like in any other time in life, really. Yeah. So that's been the biggest impact on me going forward, and I hope that's the biggest impact it has on other people on the team going forward. Um, and good friends definitely help with that. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for coming and joining us today. We wish you luck. Um, I know it's going to be a very busy uh, time now to try yeah. and figure out everything for a home show. And uh, we wish you guys the best. Thank you so much for being with us yeah. today. Thank you, thank guys. you guys. Thanks for having us. Thank you all for joining us on today's episode on Gym Master. And thank you again to Sam and Hannah for sharing your experiences. Be sure to support the Gym Masters at Home Show coming April 6th. Ignite is a student-run production based in the School of Journalism and Communication. You can find more of our episodes on our YouTube channel, as well as our Instagram, at IgniteSAU. As well as our audio podcast on Spotify. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.